Welcome to my floor. I've got this thing. I have another one that I'm. It's been fully repaired. This one. The problem here. Motor's locked. There we go. <laughs> she came loose, I guess. Uh, motor's locked is the uh, the the main issue here. So. I've already tried, you know, the old twisting the bump and go method. Uh, that has not worked, so I'm going to show another method. I'm going to sort of live um, unlock this motor. First, you have to actually get the, uh, you might want to do it from this side. Oh, here we go, we're getting it. Oh, that is not good. That is generally what you want to avoid. I don't think I broke anything thankfully we're gonna hold that in place better there we go um take this apart get the wheels out of here um what you're gonna want to do is you want to turn it on and you're just gonna sort of use this to uh, move the gear around a bit um and if any luck you should the motor should eventually um unlock seem to be working so I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, from the inside real quick before I do open it up I want to show the other uh, method which would be this take both sides of it you sort of twist it Look at that. so we've got our thing open we obviously want to make sure to uh, lay our screws out like that to ensure that we have a nice um, we know where to put them all back this one a uh, bit of a straggler but it doesn't seem to be coming out, so I don't, I'm imagining it's probably relatively safe in there. So what you want to do now is you want to sort of find a point of entry to the gearbox. So this is a gear, and it seems to be uh, it seems to spin. I'd assume that's a gear. This is also a gear. You want to find the gear that spins the most uh, freely, so that would be the one that's generally closest to the motor. And you want to go about uh, spinning that, and then check on the other side since that's where the uh, that's where the motor actually is. Oh. And that is why you be careful with wires, people. <laughs> another another little lesson there, I suppose you could say. Here's a gear. It's pretty close to the motor. That was not being careful with wires. Thankfully, nothing broke. Okay, let's try let's try our hand at this uh, before anything else breaks. That's why you want to be very careful with these sorts of things. That little uh, dip and pitch that we heard is good. If it continues, it's just a short dip and pitch, that's good, because that means the motor is uh, 
having force put on it. If it is a long dip in pitch and it continues even after you stopped moving things, that is bad and you want to stop and turn it off as soon as possible because that means that something is breaking. Uh, let's see. And another. This is the closest gear to the motor that I can turn. going through all the uh, all the potential ways to unlock a motor dash it's meant to be like a quick video alrighty well the next way is to uh, extract sort of the gearbox from the uh, rest of the, uh, the the China fake you want to undo as few screws as possible uh, so that the gearbox actually holds together and that way you can get a better angle at uh, what is going on here. So we can now turn this on. Oh, there we go. We've got direct. Gonna turn that off. We got direct access to the motor gear now. I sort of felt the gear vibrate, so we are getting closer to unlocking it. ways to uh, get at the gear. Yeah, I see a better way. very very squeaky but uh that should uh that's just because they are being allowed to spin very freely very fast that should uh stop once we've got it all hooked back into the mechanism properly it's a little bit of little gear here that goes to the bump and go and that is how to unlock a motor oh and thankfully because this wire attaches to a little screw terminal i can just strip the wire and then hold it in with the screw and i don't have to go about soldering it and everything <laughs>